I'm just doing it for you too. Okay. <laughs> My name's Chris. What's your name? Ryan. Ryan. Yeah. Awesome. I'm gonna have to take some stickers. Is that cool? Are Please. You free? Yeah. Awesome. So I gotta ask you something. What's the difference between like your original lightweight, heavyweight? Like, which one would you use for like for what? Yeah. So we we recommend most people start off with the original. Um, it's kind of the do all, and on an on an everyday carry knife of any sort. It's going to do a really nice job of keeping dirt and grit and suspension, making things smooth. Um, Ultralight is kind of a specialty product. This is designed for use on your automatics, oh, okay. switch blades out gotcha. the front. Yeah. Uh, and it's really thin. It, it's as thin as water, actually. So why would you want uh, a thinner oil for an uh, automatic knife? Yeah, so the automatic knives, you really want to preserve all that speed. Okay. All that momentum in the in the knife blade as it's either shooting out or deploying out the side. You don't want to you don't want things to get you know hitched up on their way out yeah. to, to full deployment. Okay. And then heavy is a, a really thick version, uh, almost almost a gel like consistency. Oh wow! And that's designed to stay on your detent ball and detent track oh, okay. of the cool. knife. So I just add that to you know just the detent ball in there. Uh, where it'll stay put on there, stay and, there and give you good gliding friction. Awesome. Yeah. Get over that detail. That's really cool. And what are these things? Just applicators or something? Or? These are little cleaning swabs that we sell, just kind of for fun. Um, we're really good at getting in the nooks oh, and crannies yeah. of the knife. Yeah, sometimes I try and use a Q-tip, and for some knives yeah. it's a little too thick to get in there. So the, the tip is actually one millimeter under all the fuzz, so you yeah. can really, really get awesome. into the internals. Yeah. yeah. So what do you think um, sets KPL apart? I know KPL, everybody knows KPL, but what sets you apart from some of the newer leads that are coming onto the market? Yeah, I, of course, I think all those products are good. Um, we really try to focus, you know, not on some magical additive that's gonna, you know, revolutionize. We, we focus on, on making sure that we are taking dirt and grit, keeping that in suspension, preventing wear, and kind of doing all the jobs that a lubricant is supposed to do really well in a way that's specific to knives. Awesome. So, you know, I, I truly believe that KPL is going to give you the best performance yeah. over the long term, and you're going to avoid some of the mistakes that might be made by, you know, adding a lubricant, say, that will oxidize over a period okay. of years yeah. and then gum up your knife. Yeah, or, that would suck. <laughs> you know, not, not do a very good job of encasing uh, gritty particulates or something yeah. like that. Awesome. So, and what's this knife shield over here? I haven't heard of that. I've used all your oils, but I don't know what this is. Yeah, so this is our new uh, cleaner and rust preventive product. And uh, it's water-based and food safe. I just spray that on like a microfiber cloth. And then I oh, wipe down my knife blades. Oh, okay. Sweet. And it, it takes off tape gunk kind yeah. of like really instantly. It leaves behind a finish that you yeah. can't feel or see, but will prevent rust and pitting right. from setting okay. in, especially on your carbon steel blades and yeah. things like that. That's so. cool. So I've used like all kinds of just cheap oils at home for that, yeah. like mineral oil or I don't know what else. But what's, what's exactly in this one? So it's a, it's a, it's a galvanic inhibitor is what it is. Okay. It's an, an, anodic, an anodic suppressor. It, it prevents those electro potentials from growing on the surface of the blade. Okay. And that's typically what initiates the rusting process. It's like a difference in electro potential between like grain boundaries on the knife surface. Yeah. Um, anyway, kind of technical. But it's a lot higher tech than just like my olive oil or mineral yeah. oil or something like that. Yeah, those are great <laughs> because they, they exclude water. Yeah. This is good because even if water or you know salts get on the surface of the blade, it's going to disrupt that galvanic process that kicks off the, okay. the rust cycle. Is it food safe? It is. It is food safe? Okay, cool. Yeah, because I uh, use a lot of times my folder I've used for food stuff, so. Yeah, all the ingredients are H1 certified. Okay. So even in like a commercial kitchen, you're good to go. How much do those bottles cost? These, uh, on our website, they're 17 um, 20 here at the show. Okay, sweet. Right on. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate yeah. your time. You're awesome.